Our heads will be lowered. Our heads will be lowered. Um, but I know City, and I know that we can we can bounce back like we always do. Talk to me about that Bernardo Silva penalty as well. Like, is he going to have nightmares? Are you going to have nightmares for that for at least the next couple of weeks? Because to me, that seems like a massive missed opportunity. As soon as he does that, everyone's heads drop. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I don't know what I don't know what he was trying to do at all. I don't know if it's a penenka or it's just actual shot. But yeah, it will it will give us all nightmares. I'm sure. So this time next month, are Manchester City going to forget about this evening and will, be, will they be lifting the Premier League title? I hope so. I'm, I very much hope so. I don't know, though. I don't know after tonight. Our heads will be down very much. But, um, yeah, I have faith in my club. I love my club and I, I have a feeling that we win it. Manchester City's back-to-back -back treble dreams are over after losing on penalties in the Champions League quarter-final second leg to Real Madrid. Mate, you seem disgruntled. You seem upset. Of course you do. Break it down for me. Where, is it, how much of a missed opportunity is tonight? It's very frustrating, but if you look at the back of it, you know what I mean? We've still got the Premier League to work for. We've still, we're still in the FA Cup. We've won the um, the Club World Cup, um, the Super League. You know, we've done that, so we just now we just need to look forward and uh, see what's next. You mentioned the Premier League there. Losing a the game like this in such a huge moment, losing on penalties, how will that affect these players' mentality going into the title race? Um, well, you know, we all know Pep and we all know it's like, uh, we lose one, we, we, look, we just look to the other now. At least now we've, we just look forward to Saturday now in the FA Cup against Chelsea and, we'll, uh, and then we'll, we'll go from there and see how we do on Saturday. Talk to me about Bernardo Silva's penalty as well. I, one of the worst penalties I've probably ever seen in a shootout or just spot kicks in general. Will you be having nightmares about that for the next couple of years or will that just escape your memory in the morning? No, definitely, yeah, there'll be a lot of nightmares going around. Um, I, I just don't know what he's thinking. Uh, but I'm delighted Edison finally got a chance. You know, he's been wanting a chance for a long time now to take a penalty. And uh, he stepped up and he did the job. So ho hopefully that, um, you know, gives Pep a bit of trust in uh, Edison now. Jeremy Doku, I thought was incredible when he came on, uh, coming off the bench for Jack Grealish. Was that an introduction that needed to happen earlier from Pep Guardiola? Because we know that Pep can leave subs till quite late, especially in the Premier League, unless they've got an injury. Yeah. Do you feel like Doku should have started? Uh, well, it's a difficult one. I feel personally, I think Doku is better off the bench. But then if you look at you know, the way he played on Saturday against Luton, the, the dribbles, the, the pace, and uh, yeah, you'd have thought he'd have stood a chance today against you know, a, a top side like Real Madrid. And uh, I wish Real totally the best in the next round and they'll, they'll probably go and win it, to be honest. Manchester City are out of the Champions League after losing to Real Madrid on penalties. Somehow I've got a Manchester United fan to my right and, of course, a Man City fan to my left. Let's start with the Manchester City fan. Break it down for me. <sighs> Treble is off. Was it just a step too far? Obviously it's off. Have you watched the game? We lost. It's off. Um, no, it isn't a step too far. I mean, come on. All the games that City have to play, in, in fact, not City, every team has to play in this league is ridiculous, yeah? They, they've had no break. They've had no chance to recuperate from other games. Do you know what? I still love them anyway. It doesn't matter. They give everything. You have a good day or you're a bad day. Do you have a good day and a bad day? No, of course, yeah. Exactly. But are you putting this a lot of this down to fix the congestion? Uh, obviously. And I just think it's bodily. It is tiring. People go, oh, there are millions of pounds they only play once a week. Nah, man. It's more than that. Listen. I love football in general. Football is a beautiful game. And um, if you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. But you know what? Tonight, I'm devoured. I'm gutted. We should have won that. It was easy. But there you go. How is this going to affect City's mentality going into that FA Cup semi-final at the weekend and also the title race as well? You're top of the Premier League, but still, Liverpool and Arsenal aren't far behind, are they? I'll tell you how it is. They're tired. We're knackered. But the Premier League is City's. End of. I'm not bothered about the FA Cup. The Premier League is City's four on the bounce. You're having a laugh. It's coming home, baby. It's coming home. Last one, last one before uh, we let you go. Bernardo Silva. It, is that Bernardo Silva? Is that the worst spot kick you've ever seen? I say what? If I could swear on her, I would, but I'm not. That was absolute terrible. Yeah. Absolute beep beep. Ah, oh, it's the worst one of us by anybody in any team. Bolton Wanderers could have banged one in better than that with a head. It was 